So, hello guys. This is Psych Maestro. So, what we're going to do tonight, kasi gabi na, ah, oh, <laughs> is I'm going to suggest a watch list and a reading list for those who want to learn psychology and philosophy. In your um, parang personal journey nyo na, it's either it can be a formal academic journey or just inform informally learning things. Because formally, I graduated psychology. However, I have learned a lot of philosophy through YouTube. And I don't want, I don't want to discredit anyone who's trying to learn a field just through the internet. Because I have learned a lot and I'm going to, sh I'm going to, uh, show you that hindi basta-basta rin yung mga nag-aaral din sa internet lang kasi lang because we we are living in an information age and i believe na hindi yung formal education hindi yan yung mode of education na accessible ng sa marami so meron din tayong parang medyo informal pero i would definitely say that when you're trying to learn to learn with depth, you go for informal education like colleges and universities. But if you're trying to learn with breadth, yung ka, yung wideness, I you you could learn it through YouTube, naman din. And I will suggest to you a watch list and a reading list. So watch list, mas marami yung vi, mas marami yung masa suggest ko sa philosophy kaysa sa psychology. However, sa re reading list, ay psychology halos lahat. Halos lahat. So, when we're, get, we're going to get right to it. So, I made a list here. Okay, I made I made a list here para, para dire-diretso tayo. And I'm going to explain na lang. So, yun. So, let's go with the, kwan, with the reading, with the watch list. Um, so, the wa watch list, um, meron na akong playlist sa aking channel. And that playlist, let then meron tayong uh, meron akong playlist sa psychology and sa philosophy ang sa psychology ko it contains 94 videos however I'm not going to break down all of the 94 videos sa sa you know because it's gonna wait we're gonna waste a lot of time if we're going to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to suggest main channels or YouTube channels where you can learn psychology informally so, um, number one would be Crash Course. Crash Course psycho Psychology. Madami silang videos, very informative, and grabe, grabe yung animation. So, very engaging masyado ang Crash Course. Uh, ang crash course. Pero, I would suggest na if you're trying to learn talaga ng, ng psychology, I would suggest that you would have supplemental readings and supplemental reading materials. And, and parang ganun, um, if, if, Gusto mo talaga ng in-depth, you go for the books, then you watch the videos, and the videos could parang review na lang siya, parang ganun, and it could be a feedback. So, that's how you you try to learn try to learn through Crash Course. Also, Academ Academy of Ideas. Academy of Ideas goes, ang um, majority sa kanilang videos ay talaga more on sa philosophy na side, hindi psychology. However, it features... Um, kwan, it features the ideas of Maslow, uh, Abraham Maslow, Carl Jung, Karen Hornay, and other you know, uh, other psychologists. So, yun, Academy of Ideas. And Academy of Ideas, hindi siya masyadong empirical, hindi empirical na side. More on siya sa literary, literary quali qualitative na side ng, kwan, ng, ng psychology. So, that is Academy of Ideas. Pero maganda masyado, promise, grabbing production quality ng Academy of Ideas. Hindi basta-basta ang mga videos ng Academy of Ideas. And the other, kwan, the other hindi it exactly channel. Meron siyang channel pero hindi exactly channel but si Jordan Peterson you could really find him very famous siya sa very famous siya sa internet he's a clinical psychologist from Canada and I'm I'm personally a very big fan of him um so anong talk uh, I would suggest one main con one main video talaga the must watch tal must watch and daming videos na you could watch about Jordan Peterson and one one video that I, I could really suggest watching is a 49 minute lecture on the psychomet 
psychometrics or the big five personality traits straight model grabe siya na kwan halimo siya talaga na lecturer and even if 49 minutes ito it's 49 minutes and 30 seconds long it garnered 800 807,000 views so you could imagine na he is a kwan formal college professor sa Canada parang University of Toronto ata so and This, despite na parang medyo formal siya and medyo mahaba, lengthy masyado yung, yung video na yun, it still garnered that many views, 800,000 plus. So it just goes to show how how skilled Peterson is in in engaging with in engaging with the students in his class and also kwan they kwan mga people like me, YouTube kwan YouTube uh, you know, YouTube learners So that's it for psychology. Ma ma maliit lang masyado sa ang psychology compared sa philosophy in terms sa watch list. However, in terms sa reading list, we'll get to there. <laughs> okay. So sa kuan, so you could check out my uh, the whole playlist. You could check out the whole playlist in my channel, Psych Maestro. So um dito na naman tayo sa watch list ng philosophy. So the watch list My playlist ng philosophy contains 110 videos. Okay, um, ang channel na ma, ang main channels na, madami akong channels na philosophy channels, pero ang main ko masuggest is Crash Course, Philosophy, uh, School of Life, Philosophy Tube, and Academy of Ideas. So, apat, apat ang main. Mer meron din namang nagpo-post ng konti, uh, ng, ng magandang content dyan sa internet. However, itong apat yung active until now kasi ang iba meron nagpo-post sila pero humihina hindi na siya ganun ka-active so number one, crash course um actually ang crash course is not just philosophy and psychology ang daming kon topics na ang daming fields na kino-cover sa crash course however kon meron silang parang playlist ng mga kwan crash course history, crash course biology, etc. etc. Pero uh, one thing that I would say na about crash course is crash course lang ito. So if you want to really learn formally, you could watch watch crash course and find uh find formal readings talaga so that you could go in depth. But, but however, however, when you're in, when you look look for breadth or the wideness wideness in scope i would suggest youtube because very efficient if sa youtube ka watch but breath naman kung the I, i mean depth naman the deepness of your learning i would suggest that you would read books talaga so the second the second philosophy channel is school of life grabe talaga halimo ang school of life and daming philosophers kung nakilala because of school of life emmanuel kant friedrich nietzsche um ano pa sino pa Um, Albert Camus, John Paul Sartre, and madami pang iba. Grabe sila. Um, School of Life, meron talaga silang playlist for Eastern and Western philosoph philosophers. Although, medyo marami, mas marami yung Western kasi Western naman din sila. Parang, I think British uh, or European based. Hindi siya, hindi siya American based yung kuan, School of Life. Pero grabe talaga. Very, very... Um, clear and maganda yung delivery ng kanya ang ng kanyang videos kasi mataas yung production quality and maganda yung um, animation so the third would be um, philosophy tube uh, so ay ito pala I'll all I will I will be linking all all of the things that I'll I'll I'll, I'll mention I'm I am mentioning para you could follow through so you could also pause in between para masulat nyo yung sinasabi ko at hindi kayo mawindang sa sinasabi ko kasi medyo mabilisan to so um, philosophy tube is philosopher talaga philosopher talaga from I think Britain or UK parang yun si Con Oli yung first name niya si Oli so philosophy tube is a very informative channel Ngay ngayon Lately, parang tumataas ang tumataas yung production quality ng kanyang mga videos talaga. To, kung dati, parang, you know, parang medyo informal siya kasi 10 to, uh, 10 to 15 minutes lang. Pero ngayon, grabe, from running to 30 onwards na, 
kasi ma- marami ng mga dedicated followers and marami din gustong mag-explore ng philosophy na medyo in-depth. So, um, the last ch- channel that I would recommend if you're trying to learn philosophy on YouTube is Academy of Ideas. I already mentioned it kanina but I, it's worth mentioning it again. Academy of Ideas is a very, very beautiful and informative uh, channel when you're trying to learn philosophy and parang medyo in-depth siya and I would suggest you watching Fried- Fried- Friedrich Nietzsche's videos on that channel kasi medyo maganda talaga uh, I would suggest Das Spok Zaratustra yun Das Spok Zaratustra na videos sobrang kon sobrang beautiful ng video na yun so um the third the third category so we have I already talked about my watch list in psychology and philosophy Mer- but however parang meron tayong wild wild card so um aside from being a uh, uh, psychometrician philosopher hindi naman formal but parang in- I informally learned it uh, can you imagine that I have watched 110 f- videos on philosophy so parang gan kon hindi uh, I would say na yun Meron talagang depth if you're trying to learn formally and you have read uh, a lot of kwan, a lot of philosophy through kwan, philosophy books but kung breadth ko hindi naman din basta-basta and I could also converse with you with philosophy but however I'm willing naman din I'm willing naman din to learn philosophy formally pero pero I'm going to finish muna yung kwan, <clears throat> yung graduate school education ko sa psychology because my main goal is uunahin ko yung pagiging psychologist before yung philosoph- pagiging philosopher ko. So, my main, and my, from philosophy, my main interest na branches ng philosophy is philosophy of religion and moral philosophy or ethics. However, I won't be talking about philosophy of religion in this video kasi it may merit another video in the future however um i would want to talk about uh, moral philosophy kasi grabe yung dedication ko in terms of moral philosophy actually third year pa lang uh, third year or fourth year pa lang ng college ko i'm i was trying to write a book on moral uh, moral philosophy hindi naman siya you know parang academ- academic talaga and i kwan, aside from learning things on uh, on youtube I go to the internet and bumab ako nagbabasa din ako talaga ng articles mainly on kwan Immanuel Kant the ontological ethics and utilitarian utilitarianism and other yun y- yung mga ganun ganung bagay so in my moral philosophy playlist and you could also find this it in my channel I have 35 videos medyo konti however for kwan keep in mind na when when you compare this to one philosophy and psychology focused masyado yung kwan focus na mas narrower yung scope kaya medyo konti siya pero grabe yung mga contents ko and i'll suggest channels and and naiiba tong watch list ko sa moral philosophy kasi madami masyado ako mga kwan na individual videos na must watch talaga and I'll explain kung anong contents nila so sa channels is philosophy tube sinabi ko na kanina hindi ko na i-explain kung anong contents fil- dyan philosophy tube crash course and wireless philosophy ang wireless philosophy eh hindi siya masyado active however you could watch you could vo- watch um you could watch uh good life yun what is the good life according to aristotle what is the good life according to emmanuel kant what is the good life according to friedrich nietzsche parang ganun you you could watch that series maganda masyado so and that's part of the scope of moral philosophy din yung what is the good life according to the philosophers so Let's get right to it. So, Sam Harris. So, ang specific vid... Now, I'm going to talk not the channels, but specific videos. Specific videos on... Kwan, if you want to engage moral philosophy, um, I would challenge those people who are kwan, learning philosophy in the academe. I would say na 
more power to you. I respect your con. I respect your dedication to philosophy. But I would challenge you to watch videos on moral philosophy in the internet. Kasi ang dami ng moral philosophers na hindi na hindi mo na nakikita sa akadim. Promise, promise. You mali left behind ka talaga sa usaping moral philosophy kung you are kung living in the four corners of your classroom. So kung so we'll get right to it. So number one, Sam Harris. Um, Sam Harris, itong title talaga, you can search, search this on YouTube. Sam Harris, Science Can Answer Moral Questions. 20 minutes, 23 minutes long ito, it, ca it can be found in TED Talks. Actually, I have a book here, I borrowed it from the Ateneo Library. This is Sam Harris's book talaga, The Moral Landscape. So, um, if you want in-depth, uh, an in-depth uh, learning, learning in depth about uh Sam Harris's views on moral philosophy read this the moral landscape so yun so yun the next the next guy would be Jordan Peterson summary of maps of meaning 17 minutes long ito and parang sila siya yung main opponent ni Sam Harris because Sam Harris is parang well-being kanya ang kanyang model of con discussing moral philosophy Hab habang si Jordan Peterson naman ang kanyang model is yung Jungian archetypes and the importance of stories so you should definitely watch uh, Peterson's uh, video as well the third the third video that I would recommend is parang vulgar siya and hindi masyadong respectable pakinggan however maganda masyado halimaw siya masyado you should definitely watch his video theoretical bullshit okay <laughs> yan yung yan yung legit name niya sa youtube name niya theoretical bull bullshit ang kanyang video ang title is treatise on morality it is 31 minutes long um kon maganda masyado yung uh, treatise on morality so parang overview lang ang kaniyang kan ang kaniyang view of morality is um anything what is good uh, parang utilitarian view siya and i hindi ko na explain kung what is utilitarianism in in this video however that will warrant another video so parang utilitarianism siya in the sense that what is good increases kan uh, uh, promotes well-being health and yun promotes well-being, health, etc. Parang ganun, the positives. And what is evil or what is bad diminishes diminishes that. For example, you you could say that helping other people, feeding the poor, etc. Um, kawang-gawa and, and teaching people about mental health, that is good according to his framework. And what is evil, diminish, diminishing well-being would be terrorism, murder, etc. So that is his framework uh treatise on morality 31 minutes long i'll again i'll be linking the videos on below so the the fourth i think oh yes the fourth video that i can i recommend watching if you're trying to learn moral philosophy in the con in youtube is rationality rules 20 12 minutes long my views on morality Yan lang, yan lang ang title, My Views on Morality, Rationality Rules, 12 minutes long lang siya. Ang views ni Rationality ru Rules, um, very uh, very alike siya sa views ni, ni Sam Harris. However, meron siyang um, nuance, merong nuance ang views ni Rationality Rules. And just check it out. So, um, the another video would be by... Parang collab ito, crossover. So, isearch mo nyo na lang. <laughs> isearch nyo na lang. Kasi, mahirap siya eh. Parang nag-crossover nag sila. <laughs> so, it's you could search Holy Cool Aid or Cosmic Skeptic. The title of the video is, Can You Be Good Without God? 9 minutes long. Very short lang siya. And I wouldn't recommend it if first time mo palang dealing with moral philosophy. However, if you have background on on the three basics, and I will explain that later, the three main are three three main uh, moral moral theories or ethical frameworks, then you you could go ahead and watch that. And the next would be philosophy tube. 
Beginner's Guide to Kant's Moral Philosophy. So Immanuel Kant is very famous. Uh, uh, is a very famous deontological, uh, deontological uh, moral theorist. So ito gi breakdown ni kwa ni Oli sa philosophy tube ang kanyang moral philosophy and very beautiful ang pagka breakdown kasi simple lang siya yet very effective yung explanation so um now let's now let's get to formal moral philosophers yung mga yung mga videos na sinadjes ko buhay pa yun sila na moral philosophers and youtuber <laughs> <laughs> YouTubers din yun sila. However, yung kanilang videos very informative and very kwan. Uh, hindi mo talaga sila ma kwan. You could you could not just wave them away. Promise. I challenge you talaga. I challenge you talaga. Especially yung mga those who are studying moral philosophy in the academe. So moral the three main moral philosoph philosophies with their with the moral philosophy moral philosophers is deontology or duty duty ethics duty ethics ang main proponent is Immanuel Kant so basically ang ang kwan, duty ethics would be we are kwan, morality is grounded on duty so kwan, we have the duty to be moral that is duty ethics for example. Um, telling the truth. We have a duty to tell the truth. Yun ang duty ethics. And it, just explore it more by reading uh, reading books and on, reading books and searching it on the internet. And the second would be utilitarianism. Ang main proponents nito, although marami ng utilitarians, pero main proponents uh, is Jeremy, Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill. Yes, yun. Si Jeremy Bentham parang siya kwan qual quantitative na kwan quantitative utilitarianism si John Stuart Mill qualitative naman parang ganun basta kwan i'm going to make a separate video for that so um the third is virtue ethics and the main proponent ng virtue ethics is aristotle and ang kwan i wait lang wait lang sorry sa utilitarianism pala um the good and bad is kwan is determined by the consequences for example killing is bad because of the consequences it creates giving to the poor is good because of the consequences it creates however pero however the complicated thing for example is parang medyo medyo she uh, if you're not kwan if you're not a moral philosopher parang talagang mako-confuse ka sa moral philosophy na ito because it allows for certain good things or to be bad or bad things to be good let's say for example na lying lying we would say that lying is generally bad however there are instances where lying creates a good outcome and utilitarians would argue that in those in those instances that good yung outcomes ng lying utilitarians would argue that lying in that particular instance is good because the actions the actions are based on the consequences hindi on the actions themselves as opposed to the ontology so so the third moral theory is virtue ethics a main proponent is aristotle virtue ethics as opposed to as opposed to the ontology and utilitarianism is very unique in the sense that it doesn't ask about the questions but rather the person doing that question for example if you kill a person how would that action reflect on you if you teach people moral philosophy and mental health how would the, those actions reflect on you parang hindi siya action based but person based yan ang naka unique sa kwan, moral philosophy ni aristotle which is virtue ethics so ang supplemental reading that i would suggest uh, hindi ma ako masyado wala masyado akong readings but however i i looked for one and i found this on kwan, inter, the international bookstore ethics by rex books uh, Rex Bookstore, Foundations of Moral Valuation. So, parang legit naman din yung authors um, from Ateneo de Manila, uh, Ateneo de Manila, yun, ha, ha, sila lahat, Ateneo de Manila, yung authors ng book na ito. So, yan, yan guys, um, I'll put down the, I'll include it in the reading list.